Do you suppose it's possible that furries might be furries because we have, or I think we have, a natural inclination to want to celebrate what we are. I mean, we of course want to celebrate who we are, but I think we have an inclination, a natural inclination to want to celebrate what we are as well. This society does not allow us to celebrate our animality. There's the obvious things like what I've talked about in some of my last videos. There's the there's the beard type of thing, and there's the uh, there's the chest hair type of thing. There is um, there are certain things that are normally attached to animals. Um, like people will will make fun of me for this and say, "Oh, it makes you look like a bull." I'm like, "Oh, cool." It makes me look more like an animal. I'm an animal. Ha 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 ha. The joke's on you, you know, kind of thing. And so I just, and then of course there are the, some of the other things I talked about in the other videos. It's time to gross everybody out. Okay. In the natural world, um, our armpits would reveal our lifestyle. It would reveal the uh, types of foods we eat because you are what you eat and it affects that sort of thing a lot. It would reveal your your eating habits and some of your lifestyle habits. It would, you know, if you sweat a lot from doing a lot of hard work, it's one thing. If you're just sweating from uh, it just being hot, that's another type of thing. Each one of those things has a different type of scent, um, whether we want to think about that or not. But um, our scent would tell our lifestyle. And it's kind of like, uh, well, think about when one of the things that will trigger your memory the quickest is a scent. There could be some food that you had when you were four or five years old, and you haven't had that, smelled that particular set of ingredients, those seasonings, uh, since you were five or whenever and suddenly at 23 you smell this and immediately BAM you have a memory of when you were five I mean it's just instant BAM our scent works kind of the same our um our, yeah our scents our natural scents kind of work similarly as far as us recognizing certain things. Scents can make us think about certain concepts and certain, I don't know, patterns. Uh, Backslasher on one of my last videos had mentioned that um, sweat, the smell of certain sweat, you can, you can, there's a, there's been some studies that um, you can sense someone's immune system to some degree through sweat and there's this natural selection thing where someone wants to have to be around someone who has an immune system that is different than theirs as far as like for a natural thing of them trying to build a stronger immune system for their children but just the fact that that sort of thing even exists and we don't allow it to exist because of the way that we do things as a society. Um, I mean, if we actually celebrated our animality more, we would <laughs> we would put thousands of businesses out of business. Uh, thousands of products would become obsolete. Um, but uh, that's never going to happen. And if we tried people tried to push that message, it would be shut up very, very quickly because, well, it would hurt the economy pretty badly if that hit it. So, um, but, okay, now that I'm done with the gross stuff, um, but just in general, we do not want to look at ourselves as anything but 
uh, as important as the universe or the center of the universe or as if we're chosen by God or something on that order that we're just so important and if we could actually celebrate our animality I don't think there'd be I don't think people would have a need or a desire to to want to be another animal being human a human animal would probably be enough but I could be wrong I could be dead wrong um, I could have just made this video and uh, grossed you out for nothing so uh, who knows but uh, I don't know I just have a feeling that our inability to celebrate our animality appearance wise and a number of other ways is some I mean I also think about I, I just should have mentioned this earlier like uh, sexuality we the way this this puritanical religious way that we shun sexuality so much um, and yet we think violence is okay you know that's that's fine we can see all the violence we want but but oh no sex oh oh no oh you know or just the human body we we're scared of the human body we it's like we we only associate a naked human body with sex we can't just have a human body it's just it's weird um i just I don't know, I just think that still somewhat goes into the whole not us not wanting to admit that we're animals, but anyway, um when it comes to the furry thing, everything tries to open up in those areas. All of those areas. And so it just I think I again I think we have a natural inclination to want to celebrate what we are not just who we are and uh, I could be wrong what do you think damn it it's seven minutes and 28 seconds again <laughs>